Hello, welcome to my tech fan. P3D sent me some 3D printing sheets for the testing. I can see according to the website they are from Mexico, but uh, properly in the manufacturing is in China. I can see some Chinese text on this packaging. I got here three sheets and each of them is two-sided. So this means I have six sides for the testing. I actually need this video for my own documentation too, because I can easily mix them up. I have here PEI, PEO and PEY sheets, but uh, let's take a closer look one by one. I was afraid to take them out from the packaging earlier, because only here I can see what is inside. One side is PEI and the other PEY. Of course I can recognize the textual PEI sheets. These are my favorite surfaces, but on the other side, in this case, it is PEY and I have to remove this protection foil. Whoa. I hope you can see that pattern of the surface. Let's start with the textual PEI. It has fine sandy texture and this is very popular sheet. And uh, it has big uh, temperature resistance up to 300 degrees Celsius. And it is for printing PLA, PTG, polycarbonate, ABS, TPU, nylon and similar. In most cases I'm using it without the glue stick. Uh, uh, the glue actually I'm using as a separation layer. For example with polycarbonate and nylon. Uh, for TPU be very careful. It may stick too good to it. Uh, usually I go up to 40 degrees Celsius only. The other side is PEY. I already show you the pattern of this surface. And I have another surface, which both sides are PEY. Let's take a closer look. I have to remove the protection for you. And if I have some fingerprints on this, then I have to clean it with isopropyl alcohol. This is one side. And this is the other side. Few words about PEY. It is very durable. The color for pattern won't disappear by time or by printing. It has good adhesion and it doesn't require glue. For example, it is mostly for PLA, PETG, TPU. Now, I already have experience with similar materials for Prusa Mark IV from FISEC and actually there I have very bad, bad adhesion and I will check. I hope the bad adhesion is good in this case. And the third sheet is PEI on one side and PEO on the other. Let's take a closer look. Now, it even arrived with this magnetic base with a sticker, but I'm not sure why, because Bamboo Lab printers already have the magnetic base. Maybe this is for similar size printer, which don't have the magnetic surface. So this side is Texture PEI sheet, we already discussed this, and the other side is PEO. About PEO, it has this diamond pattern, shines brightly, it is very durable and temperature resistant material. It can be used for the PLA, PTG, TPU or even ABS, so probably it is more temperature resistant compared to the PEY. My approach to the testing is very simple. I will test the most important property of these beds and that's the adhesion to the object. And I will try to measure somehow this uh, value. And of course the second thing, but for me it is less important, how that uh, first bottom layer looks like. And actually for this I cannot use the glue stick, because otherwise it would ruin that pattern on the bottom layer. I will print everything on Bamboo Lab P1P, which sets the Z offset automatically, so there will be no human error. And the different temperatures in the slicer are 65 degrees Celsius, for the textured and for the smooth sheets. Let's start with this textured PI, which is very similar to one which I'm already using. Cleaning the bed with isopropyl alcohol. And for this testing I'm using the Bamboo Lab Tough PLA because it has great layer adhesion. The start is good and I will use this ring bolt and this hanging scale to measure the adhesion to the bed. The printing is finished and I set the bed temperature to stay on 65 degrees Celsius. Okay, I'm not going above one kilogram because I would not want to damage the surface because theoretically I should wait until it cools down. So this is good bed adhesion. The bed cooled down to 40 degrees Celsius. Perfect. The next one, PEO with this diamond shape. The 
the start is good, this is the first layer and I'm printing two objects at once. The second one is just to see better the pattern of the surface. Just quick check with the purge line. Hmm, okay, we will see. The small object is already finished and I have to mention that I can feel some unpleasant smell and I'm not sure is it until it's new or it will be presented later. Hmm. Weaker half kilograms approximately. The temperature is still 65 degrees Celsius. Okay, flat object is harder to remove. I mean, I have to be wait until it cools down. The bed is 40 degrees Celsius. Hmm, acceptable actually. And now we analyze this later. The next one, PEY with these small stars. I can see my fingerprints on this plate, but I didn't even print with it. That's why it is important to clean it with isopropyl alcohol. PEY with the stars, and I don't feel that smell anymore. And I think it's better than PEO. PEY with the stars. 0 0.65 if I notice correctly. The bed is 40 degrees Celsius. I believe that it still sticks good. Let's try it with uh, flexing. Okay, perfect. Pay attention that not only the sheet but also the surface is sensitive to fingerprints. If you lost the shining, just clean it and the shining of the stars is back. The next one is PEY again but with the rhombus shapes and I have to clean it because I can see my fingerprints again on it. And this was my first failed print. I'm not sure what happened because I wanted to start with the recording a little bit later. So I'm repeating this printing and this time my camera will be ready. I hope you can see on the camera, even the first layer I don't want to stick. Okay, I have to stop the printing. This was my second attempt. And in both cases the bed was completely clean. And don't forget the P1P says the Z are set automatically, so there is no human error. Well, this side is almost useless without glue stick. Let's see the other side. A good cleaning with isopropyl alcohol. And starting the same G code. No, it doesn't stick at all. Hm. It sticks better to the nozzle than to this surface. Stop. And the purge line. Almost nothing. This is very confusing. I want to try again this star PEY, which is on the other side of the texture PI sheet. And it always gets good cleaning with isopropyl alcohol. Yes, this one sticks good, so this was not the coincidence. I will reprint this again and I will measure it. At least I will have better statistic. PEY sheet stars 0.69. The first one was 0.655, so the repeatability of this test is quite good. One more attempt with this Rhombus PEY sheets. I will try to use the hairspray. Well, actually, this is something similar. Okay, so far so good. The first layer sticks down quite good. Ten seconds after I turn off the camera, the smaller object moved from the bed. Well, the pattern is there. It's a little bit hard to see, but definitely the Z offset is correct. So, problem is with the bed adhesion. Now, some quick conclusions for the end about the texture PEI sheet. Uh, definitely first class, same quality like with the Bamboo Lab sheets. So, I can highly recommend these. Now, about uh, PEO this diamond shape. Uh, the adhesion was, let's say, acceptable, but I don't really like the smell which I could feel during the printing with this sheet. Now about the PEY. Well, I'm not sure why, but the adhesion with this version, with the small stars, is great. 
I'm not sure why, because it is different material or different pattern or because it is on the texture PI sheet on the other side. But with this version, which is two-sided PEY, I couldn't get any bad adhesion, not even for the first layer, even if I used the hairspray. Well, this was my experience with these sheets. Uh, if you have some other experience, write me a few lines down in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy printing.